So hi everyone, today I'd like to share with you about the Institute Sneak Attack Cat Toy. This offers a, a manual ball and track as you can see on the top and a battery operated feather toy. Um, this was a complimentary product on behalf of Try It Sampling and Institute. It retails for around $35, so stay tuned for more. As I mentioned, this Institute Institute sneak attack toy was complimentary uh, from Try It Sampling and the brand, so it came pretty well packed. Um, the little ball did end up with a little dent in it, but this is just kind of an initial overview. It does have non-slip feet, and that's where the feather toy pops out from the bottom. It does run on three AAA batteries, which are not included. Um, and this was Winnie's initial reaction when I put it down for her to play with, and she wasn't sure about it because it does have like a tweeting noise and it kind of startled her at first and then she kind of saw the feather poking out and she was a little more curious about it but um, she really wasn't sure about what it was so as you can see it is a little noisy I kind of moved the ball around to see if she would play with it see if she would want to interact with it and she kind of like walked away from it and wasn't sure and then she came back and she played with it for at least a minute or two um, following the end of this clip. And this is good for cats of all ages. This was from an Instagram post that I shared of my cat, Sophie. Currently, she's about 14 years old, but she had fun with it. She kind of wasn't sure what to think about it, but she sort of liked it. So stay tuned. So this is the cat toy itself. It has a little sensor at the top, basically, I'm not sure if that's the sense movement or just to see which side the kitten or, or your cat uses more. Um, this is of course the battery hatch and the little ball I believe can be removed maybe because it's kind of like a soft pliable plastic. Um, so I guess if you found one and you need to replace it. The little track's kind of nice. I was kind of expecting it to be automated or something as well when I opened it. Um, and as you can see, this is where the feather pokes out and the feather is actually on a little kind of like a spindle wheel. It's a little hard to tell um, there, but it's there. Um, the feather itself is just kind of like a little plumy feather. So as you saw, it just a, a little bit pokes out at a time. I will say that if you do have a cat that does like to pull things, um, that's my Sammy. So I had to take this away from him because I was worried he was going to pull the feather out completely because it is on like a little arm. I was worried he was going to pull out, pull the entire piece out. Um, so you will need to monitor your pets when you, when they use this, just to make sure that there aren't any loose feathers or anything like that. I'm not sure if they sell a replacement feather or attachment. That's something that you'll have to look into, but that was just a, a cautionary idea. So let's talk about the volume on this thing. There is no way to turn it down. So give me a second and we'll turn it on. So as you saw, the little feather kind of rotates and it rotates so many ways through one side and so many ways through the other. And it does pause and you think the battery's died, but it's taking like a little break, I guess, to interact your, or to let your cat kind of like take a little break. Um, I'm not sure how long the batteries will last. It may depend on the usage time. Um, I've let my kitties play with it like off and on. Again, I'm just more worried about the feather on the inside that Sam's going to pull it off. But other than that, they were kind of okay with it. I would have liked if they would have been able to have a, um, a volume button on it where you could have turned it down a little bit because it is kind of noisy, especially if you have tile, it echoes. Um, I noticed too, if you don't put it like on a steady surface again, if you have tile and your cat kind of takes a dive for it, it'll push their toy along with it, especially if your cat's a little heavier. Again, my Sammy. Um, so it just depends. Overall, it's a pretty nifty little toy. I don't know how much use my kitties will get out of it, but we'll see. Um, again, this retails for $35 US and I did find a link from Amazon. It may be available in a few other locations, but currently I've only been able to find it on Amazon. So, um, 
If you think this is something for you, all the information's in the description below. Bye.